Well, good morning. Today I'm going to uh, give the Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra a startup. I'm going to run it here for a little while. Um, I just pulled this vehicle out of storage and uh, parked it over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the unit up. It has been parked for the majority of the winter. It hasn't been on the road. Okay, so, like I said, no mileage has been accumulated, 202,144, which is basically what was on it when I uh, um, stopped driving the vehicle two years ago, uh, before I painted it, so maybe the odd kilometer being accumulated from driving it up and down the road or whatnot. I'll go ahead and uh, start the unit, it's about minus 16 out. Oddly enough, the uh, low coolant light didn't come on. I wonder if the bulb is burnt out or if the sensor is bad. I'm going to take a look into that. It's very loud. I haven't put an exhaust system on the vehicle yet. No. Brake light is on because the park brake's on. Brakes are fully functional. There's nothing wrong with the service brake whatsoever. Uh, park brake, two clicks, it holds the vehicle as it should. And um, all it really needs is an exhaust job and some clips to hold the chrome on the bottom of the doors. A few of them broke. I have to order a few of those yet. I have a few of them, but they're not the way I want them for this car. Very smooth running. Wish I could say it was quiet, but it's not. It's a big gaping hole in the muffler. This thing does run smooth like a kitten. Though. It's not your uh, most powerful vehicle, but you know it still moves around. Still fast enough to get a speeding ticket, so not that I have claimed any with this vehicle, but it does move fast enough for what I want it for. Interior is well kept, nice and clean. I shampooed it uh, probably last spring, I guess. But I mean, the fabric's never been smoked, and this car is just utterly amazing, you know. It's just Unbelievable. You find something like this and you know, usually you think the seats are all tore apart or some teenager got his hands on it and destroyed it. Well, not this car. Which is good. So this is of course the fuel injected version. Uh, 2.8 liter. Uh, it is a multi-port fuel injected uh, engine. The, uh, this is in the carbureted models like the 86s. I believe 87 they went to fuel injection. Don't quote me on that. But this unit is an 88 and it is fuel injected. As far as I can recall, all of them were at that point in time. So the muffler is shot on it, of course. very dusty too so uh, you know traffic driving down there's usually a dust cloud that is billowing over the shop here and uh, all the vehicles do get quite dusty so all in all very nice vehicle I'm very proud of this car I've uh, I did a lot of work to it um, it's all painted up it's all complete uh, just except for the foam trim on the bottom foam trims all shined up uh, the only problem is, is that a few of these chrome clips are broke, so it, it makes it difficult for the chrome trim to actually uh, stay to the doors. So uh, I gotta find myself.
myself some of them. I have a few of them, but uh, not enough to complete the task. Need more for the opposite side. This side doesn't have any turns on the side at all, except on the fender. So I need about six of them anyway to complete that task. And this car is done. You know, it's, it's complete. It's ready to go. Turnkey. Have yourselves a great Easter long weekend. Don't party too hard. We'll catch you later. Take care now.